Yo, what's up, we're Juan Foskett off. This is Val Ramos. In today's music producer tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to add extra space in your Logic Pro project without ruining your automation in the project and so you also capture that first transient. So sometimes when you are bouncing your project files, you may need to create a little extra hair or a little extra space in your project in order to capture that first transient. And so for example, what this could look like is you press play and all of a sudden the first transit of the kick drum or the first transit of that initial guitar or another musical element is missing and you want to capture that first transient so that first beat of your project, first beat of your song is powerful. Well, you will have to add an extra space in your project in order to capture that information. But it's not as simple as simply highlighting all tracks and then moving everything over to the right because if, if you have automation that automation will also not move over to the right with those audio files and MIDI files so i'm going to show you in logic pro how to actually do this in the daw okay what's up this is valorama so welcome to logic pro 10.7 so in this demonstration i'm going to show you how to add an extra transient at the very beginning of your logic pro file so that you capture the first transient of the first beat of your song and so that you do not destroy, ruin, or mess up the automation that you may have in place on the overall project file. So something that is frustrating is if you have automation, you cannot simply highlight all these tracks. Let me highlight, highlight all these tracks and then use the semicolon key, which is actually my favorite shortcut key to then move all the tracks over, say, one bar to the right. Because if you do that, if you have automation in your project, as you can see, I have a lot of automation here, you will not be able to cleanly move the project over one bar to the right while maintaining the automation in the same pattern. So what you're going to have to do, actually, is you have to add an extra space in the project file. When you do this, though, you will have to actually unfreeze all your tracks. So if you have all of your tracks, you will have to unfreeze all these tracks, but do not worry. This will still save you time because it can move over your automation over to the right as well. So you're gonna unfreeze all these tracks. Watch me do this, you unfreeze. This is gonna take some time. Okay, now that we have all tracks unfrozen, now you're gonna have this highlighted section. Now this is just the section where you want to create this initial transient to add extra space before the first beat of that project so you capture that initial transient without ruining the automation. So now that we have this extra transient, we're going to right click here. Again, all the tracks are unfrozen, so now the tracks will move with you when you select insert sounds between locators. So when you select insert sounds between locators, everything will move to the right. Now watch this. Will move. It's see it's, it's highlighting the, the tracks. Move. If you want to add a 4x4 signature change to preserve subsequent time signatures, you can say add and bam. Now we have this extra space in here. So now what you have to do is you have to go back and freeze all the tracks. But that's fine because that saves you time. Because look, look at the automation. The automation is exactly as I had it, and we know this to be the case. Because as I showed you before, where this drop was at, I had this low cut, approximately one bar prior to that drop. So all the automation is now preserved. So now it's just a matter of freezing all the tracks and then starting over. And now when you go to bounce this track, what you can do is, so Command U is my favorite button. That's how you capture all the information. But when we go to this first beat, what you can do now is you can add this extra little bit of space in there. You can see this? Now we're capturing that first transient. So now the track is actually going to start right here and not right here where this kick is at. So sometimes when you bounce tracks and you bounce it right at the start of that kick, that first little trend in the kick was missing. And then that first kick will not sound as powerful, but the second and third and fourth kick will sound much more powerful. Now with this extra bit of space, you have captured that transient and you haven't destroyed your previous automation. 
So there you have it. That is my tutorial on how to add an extra bit of space to capture the first transient without ruining the automation. It is still slightly tedious, especially if you already have a completed project because you have to unfreeze all your tracks. Conduct this change by inserting sounds between the locators, and then you have to refreeze all the tracks and then bounce the track from there. But it is still way less painful than have to painstakingly move everything over individually and or have to move all the automation over as well. Now, my recommendation to all this is that this could be a reoccurring problem. So in the future, simply start your projects at bar five or bar nine. But for the sake of this demonstration, this is how you solve this problem. And so if you have any other tips or tricks on this technique here, please leave those in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.